What's up, Guardians? It's your boy Octane, and today's legendary Lost Sector is on the moon. It's K1 Communion. <clears throat> now, let's talk about this Lost Sector. It's got barriers, overload, solar burn, solar shields, and void shields, arachno, which sucks. I'm using Prometheus lens, peace of mind, and the heavy is Corsair Air, something like that. Corsair's Wrath, something like that. It's a uh, fusion solar now with this lost sector <clears throat> um there's a class mod that makes your grenades for overloads and it with it being solar burn you could use any secondary you want prometheus lens is fun as hell and i die a lot at the end you'll see but i was just having a blast yeah you could use the usual hard light secondary and use the you know peace of mind and a heavy whatever but that ain't what we're here to do. We're here to make some crazy builds and bust out Lost Sectors at the same time. So, you know I gotta do some crazy builds. This Prometheus Lens build, I was having so much fun. I died like, I think I had like, what is it, eight, eight lives left at the end? There's a barrier right here. Um, I had eight lives at the end. I ended up with two. <laughs> when I hit the chest up, it was so fun. I would suggest using this build. It's fun as hell. But, at the end, it does pose a little bit of a problem. Now, at the end, when I die a lot, I'm going to explain where you should hang out so you don't die a lot. I was just kind of going crazy and having fun with Prometheus, Prometheus Lens. This build was fun as hell to do the Lost Sector in. <clears throat> because, this season, Prometheus Lens just shreds everything. <laughs> Plus, I mean, come on. We got, few, we got lot, uh, tracer rifles as fucking overloads. You got to use it. You got to use the mod. So, it even shredded Void Shield, so that wasn't even a problem. I was like, I thought I was going to have a tough time with that, but it just fucking ate through it. Um, groups of enemies, I would suggest using it as soon as you see them, because it'll just... Everybody's exploding and microwaved. Uh, you want to hang out on this side, where I'm at? Just kind of follow my lead in this whole lost sector, because it's... Especially if you're using the Prometheus lens, I mean, it's fun as hell. But, now, I have some other options... There's a barrier over there. I mean, by now, if you've been watching my videos, you know where the barriers are. But I can still, I'll still throw. Hey, there's a barrier right there. He's to the, he's to the uh, right, right there. But see, he he's gonna shield the vandals on the bridge and below. So you gotta be careful. You you gotta get him away from the vandals and fuck him up and shit. Which is good on that side, this side that I'm on. Now let's talk about the builds again. Okay, so Prometheus lens. As long as you got the class mod that uh, your grenades stun overloads, you can use any secondary. I'm going to do another video, maybe two, <laughs> maybe there's going to be three of this Save Lost Sector video, but I'm having fun with it because I've been waiting for solar to come back up when it was barriers and overloads because overloads has a class item where your solar grenade stuns them. So, and it's a good mod, like it stuns them good. So I think I'm going to go through, cause I have Jolton, the toaster. And I have the catalyst done and complete. And the catalyst is nasty. Now, I'm not a big fan of Jolton. Especially in Crucible. Do not use that in Crucible. Do not use the toaster in Crucible. Come on. We already got Wither Horde people in there. We don't need Jolton, too. But the thing is nasty. So I think I'm going to do another run with Jolton. Just because it was fun as hell. I mean, I cleared all three rooms of this Lost Sector in, like, three... Under four minutes. I think it's like 3.20 by the time I get to the boss room. Huh? Maybe 3.25? Time's right there in the corner. Yeah, about 3.25, 3.26. Now this is where I got a little too excited. Because this room is very dangerous. This is where you want to hang out though, mostly. And then you go over to the right of the, to the stairs. And use the stairs as cover. And just keep all the ads back. And kind of fire from there. You'll, you'll see. I'll explain it once we get closer to them stairs. So yeah, I had seven lives. I ended up with another one, so technically I did have eight, so I was right. Because I could kill this overload and get eight. I mean, I was just shredding everything, man. And this is the Warlock build, just because, you know, Warlocks need that those uh, boots. The boots. I even tried to build out on those exotic boots that kind of everyone will probably be questing for when you're watching this video, but... I know they'll probably be pretty powerful on certain things. 
I mean, any PvP content that doesn't have an airborne modifier, you should be okay to use them boots. It'll be pretty pretty impressive. And me, I, I've always liked fusion rifles and line rifle fusions, so it's nice to have those boots for your warlock. Now, the Titans got those gauntlets. See, this, this is what you don't want to do. I mean, in the beginning, you could fuck around and do this shit. I ran out of ammo. I was having so much fun. It was just a blast, man. But yeah, so move on to this one. Go on there and see what else we got going on. So this staircase, you want to hang out? Use that staircase as cover. Just kind of like shoot and walk backwards as you're shooting. It's the perfect cover because. What's going to happen is you're going to have so many vandals and stuff that have tracking fucking balls of uh, 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 arc. <laughs> I can't talk today. Balls of arc that you're going to want to back up so that shit doesn't hit you all the time. Because you're going to get multiple tracking arc balls coming at you. I'm sure you know what that, how that is. It sucks. I should have saved that, that slam for when I was over here on this side. I, like again, this run I was so damn excited to play with freaking Prometheus Lens in a lost sector. It was it was so fun. Okay, so I mean if you do do what I do, using those wall these little half walls for cover is not a you know, see how I used it. That's not a bad idea either. <clears throat> if you get stranded over there. But you wanna hang out in the room and kinda bring the ants to you. From that, the room and the staircase right there, to the right. The right, okay, so this area right here in this doorway, you want to hang out. And then that staircase the boss is on, kind of use that as cover. It's the best method. I'll probably use it in my next video, because like I said, I'm probably going to do two more videos of this Lost Sector, just to kind of show you a mix of what you can build. Because this Lost Sector has some open options, with it being barriers and overloads, and the solar burn. Like, I want to try Skyburner's Oath, Jolton, uh, there's a couple others. I can't even think of all, all the ones I want to do. I mean, a couple I probably won't do a video of. I'm just going to be testing. <clears throat> I wish the freaking barriers would... I wish they'd fix the mod for sidearms. Because I really want to do some Lost Sectors with sidearms. There's, there's a lot of good exotic sidearms that would be awesome in Lost Sectors. Especially our new one, the Trespasser. And if you're from D1... You know that ain't no joke, especially with the catalyst. The catalyst is very awesome. It, it's a uh, tunnel vision. It's the square one, tunnel vision. Square perk. It looks like a little square perk. <clears throat> it's really good. And everyone's like, I was I was doing the dungeon last week, and some, I was I was using trespasser. And someone's like, I can't believe you're using trespasser in PVE. I was like, you fucking kidding me? I was like, this wrecks everything. I was like, all you gotta do is get one kill. But. This one, I already killed the boss, and I pretty much die like three or four more times <laughs> because of the barrier. So the barrier you got to watch out for, okay? He's going to do the same thing the other one was doing in the other room, where it's shielding all the vandals that snipe you. So you kind of want to do the strafe, left to right, left to right. See, I mean, see how they shredded me? I could have focused on him after I stunned him, but I wanted to make sure he died. See, I killed him. I killed the barrier. So now I can come back and finish wrecking the fucking dregs and vandals that are left. When the lights come on and you finish off the ads, that's that's when you can hit it up the chest. I shouldn't have did that because those exploder shanks were coming. But see, that's what I'm saying. If you, if you wreck the boss too fast, you're going to have so many other ads to tend with before you can open that chest. Technically, I could already open the chest, but it's not a good idea, I've noticed. But that's it for this one. Please like and subscribe. Watch out for the next video. Octane out.